Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Jersey and we're back with another Pelia plot and house tour but this one is gonna be different because as you can see this is a whole different plot this is a whole different ball game that we come in here and I'm here with Mentha today, right? We're, we're on her plot, we're here visiting and welcome to the labyrinth. We're on a labyrinth today. Now, this labyrinth is inspired, inspired by the movie, The Labyrinth, you know, the cold classic movie. Now, if you've seen it, you may recognize some scenes and we wanna see now, it's been many, 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 many years since I've seen the movie. So will I recognize the scene? I don't know, don't know just yet. But, but if you do, leave it, leave me, leave down in the comments below why you recognize that it's part of the movie. But first of all, first of all, what a great idea, right? A humongous labyrinth inside this plot. And as you can see, we already start with the wall right over here. I love this idea. It just, you know, you land here and I was like, what's going on here, right? Now, I do love the wall and I do love all the trees in the background, as you can see. Now, over there, you can see that we got even more structure. Now, she did give me a clue and she said to follow the arrow. So that's what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna be here, we're gonna follow the arrows, but we wanna also look at the design, right? And take ideas for your future. And look at how this is being built right here, right? Part of the labyrinth. I love how this right here creates that front that you need. So then you can spread out going sideways. So really great and a very creative way to do this. So I really like that a lot. All right, so let's follow the arrows. Let's see what we're gonna see. Let's see how this mess is gonna work. And as you can see, we got the arrows pointing this way and then we got arrows now pointing this way. And as we get over here, we got a beautiful fountain. We got a, another beautiful wall, as you can see. And we got a little plushy, like, like looking out the water. All right, so we're gonna go this way. The arrows are pointing this way, arrows pointing this way. And then, okay, I got some arrows pointing up and then coming back down. So, so okay, up and then down. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's upside down. Okay, that is really cool. That is really cool. I, I love this. I love this, this setup. I love how the plushie looks upside down. That is really clever. That is really clever. I. It looks like a bat now. It looks like a bat hanging down. Oh my gosh, guys. Guys. Look at all the plush. Oh my, okay, arrow is pointing that way. Okay, guys, look at this. This is so cool. You know, you know, this is so cool. Look at how everything is just, look, look at, I, I mean, look at that structure. That is really cool. Look at the candles on the top. I love the fox, I mean, the foxes, come on. Come on, the foxes look great. That look great up there. What a, what a magnificent adventure this is. You know, to, to think about, to create something like this, this, it, you know, I can't, I, I don't know. I don't know if I could ever do myself something, something like this, because it's so different. It truly is so different. It's I know, look at that plant. Look at that. And we got more stuff back there. Okay. All right. So where are the arrow? Okay. So the arrow is saying this way. All right. So they go this way. So now we walk across the pool of water. All I want to do is just look. All I want to do is just look. The way she's using the the bills, like look at that. Look at that structure. Look at how everything is just turning. Looking that way. Look at this. Ah. Oh. Okay. All right. So we're gonna walk on top of this pond of water. Really clever. All right. We see the arrow. The arrow's pointing this way. Okay. So the arrow is pointing us to go this way underneath it. Oh, do we gotta climb up? Okay, all right, guys. I, I, th I think we're getting... Oh, 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 okay, okay. Welcome to the Modern Art Labyrinth. Okay. Now, if you are a fan of the movie Labyrinth, let me know if you've seen something that reminds you of the movie Labyrinth. Okay, so I'm thinking we should go up, right? All right, there are some arrows. Okay, yeah, yes, I see the arrows. Okay, so we got arrows. Telling you what, this is a very creative way to exercise your brain when it comes to designing, to think like this. This is really cool. 
All right. Oh my. Okay, that was kind of freaky. The the I know I'm gonna land, but it feels like the character's gonna land and slide down. I mean, would it? Would it? How how would it do it here? Okay, we don't slide down. All right. It's a it's a it's a different effect. It, it makes you feel different. Okay. So we go down. Okay. So we see the arrow. The arrow is pointing uh, this way. Oh my gosh. I, I just love the way this whole area looks. Look, look at all of this. Look at all of that. That looks so cool. I, Mentha, I, I can't think like this. You are definitely so creative. Okay. All right. So we, I guess I can come back and check that. Okay. We got some arrows pointing that way, but this one is pointing this way. Okay. So let's go down here. Oh my gosh, look at all this. I mean, the structure alone to build. I mean, I, don't, I, I again, I, I can't think like this. This is so cool. I love this walkway. Look, look with all the ramps, look at this. This is so cool. I, this is so well done. All the bushes, all the elevation. We're coming back up and we get to the top. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at that. Look at this. Is everything... This... Look at this. Okay. So... Okay, so it's not an upside down room. It's like... Every room, every floor is supposed to be like a room floor? This is so interesting. I feel like I'm one of those uh, phone houses, museum houses that you go and they they put things backwards. So when you walk in, it kind of messes with your mind and your brain's thinking, wait, how am, how am I standing this way when everything is this way? That is kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. It's, it's that type of feeling. You know, th this is also great as an idea for people that like make a theme parks and amusement park, like doing a room like this, like a fun house. This is really cool. The way it's just being done, the way the items you utilizing, the way they put in the bed. I mean, I don't know how much Pelia magic you need to make all of this or not because it's all connecting a wall Then you rotate the wall. I don't know how all of this is being done, but I, I do want to say it's very cool. Is, I mean, look, look at the water. Look at the water. Isn't that like, like weird? Like you see the fountain and the water and it feel like the water should be coming down to you, but it's not. It's really cool. I love that. And then on the very top over here, we got a nice looking out area. We can look up all the skies right over here. Nice sitting, nice viewpoint from up here. Like you can really see everything and everything that she's been doing and working on really love that okay so let's go back down and we get to go back out here let's go inside here real quick now there is an arrow so i don't know if i missed something i don't know if there was another way if i missed an arrow and i i didn't went this way but let's go inside here so this is a conservatory over here and we go inside and look at the beautiful all the flower arrangements out so now we got like a little circular and there's a little clock up there so again, uh, if you guys, if this is a reference from the movie, let me know. Uh, like I said, I know I've seen the movie, but it's been years upon years since I've seen it. So I may have to actually now watch the movie, get a refresher, and then be like, oh my God, that's what that was. That was the reference. I may have to do that. Because, you know, when people go to a lot of work and do something creative and reference from movies, you know, sometimes you need to watch the movie so we can really understand it. You know what? Also, this this is great. This reminds me. And, you know, this could be like a Alice in Wonderland, you know, when everything is a little more chaotic. Like, like this idea that Menthat's done here is really interesting. And not just as a maze, but also as a way. People that look, you want to do like a modern art museum. Maybe that's something you want to do in Pelia. And you can do some of this structure like this. Because it's really cool. It's really cool. But you know, the one of the most interesting things for me is I've been to places that people got theme park, theme rides. This, it'd be a great addition to one of those plants. 
I think it'd be great. I think it will really showcase so much in Unity, uh, liability, design concept. I think it'd be really cool. Now, okay, so I know I don't need to go outside because there's nothing on the outside, outside of the wall. She already told me that. So we don't need to go over there. It's just ma mainly just hidden area, just open, closed area. So nothing, nothing to see when it comes to that. But the creativity of the maze, of the maze, I is amazing. It truly is. It truly is. I want to end it right here. So this is more of a shorter because this is kind of like a little fun outing, escaping outing. And this right here, like, isn't this cool? I love this view. I love this view. I love the creativity. I love the inspiration that she's going to bring uh, to so many other people that are, may want to do something fun like this. This is an amazing building block build as well. It's mainly concentrated with building blocks and is and to create it just like the is stunning all the way from the top, from the from the way the maze, the direction, great direction, never got lost, and it's fun. You know, I, I would like to see a little more ups and down. I think that I I really enjoy when we started going up into the maze. I would love to have like more up walkways, like like right here, and then leads you up, and then you come back down. I don't know, like it'd be really cool to have more of that because I really enjoy that part of the maze a lot. But guys, this is the labyrinth done with building blocks. I hope that you guys like it. I hope you guys got inspiration. And Mentha, truly, thank you so much for having me to showcase this little fun plot that you did. I, I think it's so much fun. And it's just amazing and very clever. The way you're putting all these blocks all over the place. Like, I can't think like that. I, like, 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 I cannot do this. I, this is, it's so fun to do and watch, but it's... I don't know how you do it. I don't know. Don't know. But it's so much fun. And guys, don't forget that to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like as well. You know, because you don't want to miss anything, right? So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe. So you don't miss any more videos, any more tours, any live streaming, anything that we do on the channel. And I'll see you all on the next one. All right, guys. See you later. Bye. Every day, Polly, Polly, tour, 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 every day.